Dragon Dragon's Dogmas got people really upset. Everybody said it already, but it, it's weird seeing it go from... Yeah, game of the year 2024 already. We're not even halfway through spring to mostly negative on Steam, which now it's at mixed. I don't know if Valve stepped in and actually like said something. I don't know if Valve stepped in and, and did something. DD2 is a 7 out of 10 at best currently. Is it though? I mean, it looks like it's pretty damn good. All I've seen is people saying that it's optimization is kind of rough i need different music i'm, I'm tired of synth wave i want something else good but the fps and slowdowns are so bad I'm dying inside did you buy it 50 pound through a legit reseller hey look all i'm gonna say is 70 dollars for a game is a load of horse shit there's my opinion euros not pounds Okay, literally, what's the difference? What is the difference? I thought those are the same thing. This is like in the Hurt Locker when the Australian man says quid and I get really confused. One is used in most of the EU. The other is only used in East. Sorry about that. What is used <laughs> in most of the EU? The other is used only in England. Which one's in England? Also, isn't the EU part of England? Or isn't England in the EU? Man, I made somebody curl up inside themselves when I just asked that. England brexited the European Union. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Capcom and microtransactions, even on DMC, you have them. It's on all other games. The developer didn't put the put the microtransactions in. I can guarantee you that. It's always from the publisher. What I will say is while I'll agree with the sentiment that is at least from what I'm seeing. I haven't played the game. This is all from what I'm seeing. I have not played the game. The sentiment that is a, a lot of these microtransactions, literally all of them, are things that you can get very quickly in the game and they are there as legitimate shortcuts. I'll soft accept it. I am going to say I have yet to see a game where having the microtransaction exist did not clearly influence the padding time that was added to achieving the obtaining of an item. So the principle of the matter is still for me, this is terrible. This is awful. This is bad. It's hand waving it away with Ah, you can get them quickly ish in the game it's them being not pushed back on will allow greedy publishers to step forward more and more and inch closer and closer to things that are genuinely intrusive with these styles of microtransactions okay to summarize bad optimization clunky movement kind of silly ai stupid micros I mean, look, I'll deal with clunky movement. I played Dark Souls 1. $2 to edit your character because for some reason your character is stored on their servers, which I think is absurd and garbage. Even if you're playing offline, like, can you... I, I know you can't... Can't you get an item in game to edit your character? It's just the act of selling it is telling me that some compromise was made in the ability to get the item because it doesn't logistically make sense to put these microtransactions without compromising to give a reason to buy them i'm speculating when i like if i play the game and it feels like there's not at that point it's speculation i haven't played the game at all i'm not gonna pay 70 dollars for for any game I, i'm sorry <laughs> i'll stick with ff14 as a monster hunter player if we're gonna talk about dragon's dogma we got to talk about how Monster Hunter. <laughs> can I can I make this bigger? How how much bigger can I make this? $541 to get all of Monster Hunter World. <laughs> that is absurd. This is all the Monster Hunter DLC. That is insane. Monster Hunter World was six years old. Ugh. I mean, I bought this when it hit PC. Imagine if Animal Crossing sold the housing items like Mon Hunt. Oh my God. People buy it, dude. People pay 50 bucks for... People are going to pay 50 bucks for the... Uh, the... The... 
March of the Minis remake or whatever. The Game Boy Advance game that's got a nice reskin on it. Even if they rebuilt it from the ground up, and the argument back at what I just said is, well, it's not just a reskin. It's still a Game Boy game that's very old. It's a Game Boy Advance game. It's an older game. The value proposition is not there anymore. Now, I will defend Monster Hunter Worlds. Let me find it. Really? Okay, it's one of these. This was, I don't know, like five bucks. And I'm going to be honest. I think it was worth it. I think it justifies its price tag. It's a very long animation. It's very well animated. It's fun. Your Palico will do it with you whenever you're out in the middle of a hunt. As an FF fan, I paid $7 for this like this is this is nice but this is about the price of an emote that isn't super well and like super well animated compared to monster hunter world i can't talk about devil may cry i know leo you brought it up i don't know what its dlc is i don't know we might check out dragon's dogma 2 at some point if it goes on sale i'm not paying 70 bucks for a game 70 dollars is way too much for me I, i'd rather Pay, like play FF14 and give money to a developer that's not shoving microtransactions onto the store page.